Staying with the prism range, we're now going to move on to a wallpaper background. So at this stage we're going to um, remove the wallpaper that's been applied over the installed wall box, making sure that it's nice and dry. Um, don't worry that the edges may be a little out of shape, we'll, we'll um, square those up afterwards. So with a sharp craft knife, taking care that any wires that are installed obviously have been isolated. Um, we simply go around the inside of the wall box, cutting through the wallpaper. As I say, don't worry that it's not going to be too straight, we can square this up later. And simply remove the piece, and I'll show you how that we can now transfer this onto another piece of the same wallpaper and uh, achieve a nice square replacement part for the switch. So once we've removed the piece of wallpaper from over the installed wall box, we simply lay it over the same wallpaper and try and make sure that it's the same batch so that the colour matches. We can then take our Perspex front plate, place this over centrally and use this plate to mark around the edge of your wallpaper Remove it so we don't damage the plate. Cut that out nice and square. Using the template, mark out the switch aperture and you should find that it will line up onto the wallpaper. So when we place it back on the wall over the switch, once it's been centralised, we can see that the wallpaper is going to match. We then apply the face plate. And the fixing screws. And just before we finally tighten up, we can adjust it to match the design of the wallpaper.